this is part one of a two-part series, so you guys better stay tuned, fasten your seatbelts, and get ready for this episode. This is gonna be good. What is poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. We're actually at Walmart again, yet again. I know that doesn't really surprise you guys, but if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, hit the like button. Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button that really helps the channel. And also leave a comment below on what you guys have been thinking about the videos. And also if you could leave a comment below about what you guys wanna see. You know, I wanna use some of you guys' suggestions and I'll definitely you know, think about them and read them all. And even if I don't use them, you know, it's good to comment below and maybe spike a, you know, light bulb in my brain on some new video ideas. But we're at Walmart today. We're going to be getting some tackle and then we're going to be doing some fishing. Let's go ahead and walk over to the tackle section. So the reason we're at Walmart buying tackle today is because I'm actually in Atlanta. We did a little road trip. This is where my family's from. This is actually where I'm from. This is where I grew up. And I forgot all my tackle. But long story short, I took all the tackle out of my boat. I was cleaning it out. I put it in my garage in Savannah. And I went to leave to come to Atlanta and then I realized, snap, I left all my tackle in the garage. That, that was just a stupid mistake on my part. And now I don't have any tackle. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be grabbing some stuff and we're gonna be trying to find some new ponds and catch some big fish. If you guys are wondering why the last two series videos were at the same place is because it's literally been raining the last two weeks and I haven't had time to fish. So today we're gonna be finding some new ponds in Atlanta that I've never fished before and going to catch some big bass. We're gonna be looking at some slow moving baits today and also some moving baits as well. I'm gonna explain the conditions once we get outside, but you know, some big bass fishing machines right here is you know big jigs they catch a lot of big fish i'm a big fan of throwing a jig and that's what i've been catching a lot of big bass recently on so we're gonna grab a couple old black and ooh, old black and blue jigs right here these are just a strike king pro model jigs right here black and blue we're gonna need some trailers for these so let's go ahead and look at see what they got it looks like pretty much all they have is green pumpkin stuff to be fair with you like they got some lizards that are june bug we don't want to put that on the back of this dang jig right here they don't really have much but they do have these missile baits right here and this is it's got green pumpkin on one side and black and blue on the other i think that's probably going to be our best bet to throw on the back of this jig just a little standard curl as you guys can tell it's got black and blue on one side a little bit of green pumpkin you know mixtured in there so i think that's what we're going to go with for the trailers for these two jigs and now if anybody knows me well you guys know i love to throw a chatterbait especially for big bass so we're gonna go with just one for right now. You know, I don't I don't know if we're gonna break off or whatever, but we just gonna go with one chatterbait. We need trailers for this as well though. I'm really liking these swim baits right here, these rage swimmers. They're not like black, but it's a good color that'll match on this black and blue chatterbait. So right here, slow moving baits, jigs, juicy looking trailers, fast, you know, covering some water. Right here, Chatterbait, some Rage Swimmers by Strike King to throw on the back of that. You know, it's not the best color to put on it, but the, I mean, that's what they have here at Walmart. So we got these two little combos right here, paired up with the trailers that we got. Now let's go ahead and take a peep. We might want to get a couple more things today, maybe even a worm. You know, I, I think the conditions are going to be a little tough today, so we might need to buy a little worm, even though we got a jig, but you know, we just got to toy around today. This is one bait that you can never go wrong with. If you guys are just not getting into fishing, you just want to go out and catch some fish, get you some like June bug yum dingers. I'll show you guys how to rig this in a video in the video today. And uh, this will always catch fish really wherever you go. And that's a good color for most of the ponds around here that, you know, obviously got some dirty water. There's not too many that are super clear. Most of the ponds are going to have some murky water. So I'm going to go with the June bug and that's a, uh, it's a little sexy rig right there. That'll catch anything. I'm telling you guys, if the bass are finicky, if they're active, either way, they are going to bite this sucker. So we're going to set that right there. Now we need some hooks and weights for this bad boy. Usually what I go with is just these little inexpensive um, laser sharp eagle claw hooks. This is what I usually go with at Walmart. They're not the best hooks, let me tell you. Um, they actually bend out fairly easy. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go with these four aughts. They don't have any three aughts. 
use the four offs right there that'd be fine on that Senko and then for lead weights you know very inexpensive just a dollar we're gonna go with these bad boys right here just some regular little bullet weights right there lead super cheap a dollar 96 this is like three dollars you know simple as you can get right there and then these yum dingers i think are like three dollars yeah two dollars and 96 cents so i mean right there you got like eight bucks for you know a decent old rig that's gonna go catch you some bass so let's go ahead and go through so senkos chatterbait for moving bait and then jig i was gonna go with the rattle trap as well because that's one of my you know favorite baits to sit here and cover water with you can catch small fish big fish a little bit of anything on a rattle trap chatterbait's more of the donkey slayer but the trapper roo catches them pretty well pretty good as well but i do have some in my car i did bring my trap box it was actually already in my car so we're not going to be going with that today but yeah i think that's going to be it we're going to get those three baits we're going to kind of focus in on those see what they're going to want to eat today like i said they might be slow but let's go ahead and go pay for this junk right here get out to the car i kind of want to show you guys the conditions and then let's pick our first pond that we're going to go catch some fish at today. hold up before we go anywhere they don't have the they don't have the moose thank you lady thank you all right here we go so you know the pop and pickle perch guys the moose catching machine they actually have some here they have two different colors though they don't have the the juicy pop and pickle the old fancy one i'm kind of sad about that i was like i'm gonna look before we leave but they do have two different colors i've never seen before and a frog might be the juice today so I, i'm actually gonna buy a white one you know a frog is i don't know what places we're gonna hit today if i see some places with a bunch of slop you know i'm really gonna be toying with this frog so i'm gonna add this to the little stack right here now let's go buy all this stuff all right just made it out of walmart got the goods right here we were ready to go do some fishing now. My ears are ringing for some reason. Something just like, woo, that was awkward. Okay, we got the goods right here in the truck. Got some little camera supplies, this, this, and that. Got the old GoPro action. And we are ready to go catch some fish, boys. I'm excited about this. I really don't know what to expect. You know, I don't know if we're gonna catch some toads, but we are going to be searching for them toads today, boys. But you know what we do here on Kicking Their Bass TV, baby. We catch the big ones. So let's go ahead and get out to our first spot. All right, boys, we're gonna be starting off with this jig that I ended up buying. Got that little trailer on there. A good little sexy combo, it's a big profile, let me tell you, because we're searching for these big bass, but add a new little spot right here. We're gonna give it a try. Hopefully catch a big old bass. Ooh, slammed something down there right away. I thought one was hitting me. I'd say, what the heck did we just run into? They are not going to be easy to catch today. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. That was first cast, about a five, six pounder. Broke me off. I cannot believe that. I got it right next to the grass and he just came out and ate it. I hope the GoPro saw that. That was about a five, six pounder. Holy freaking smokes now. Holy freaking smokes. I can't believe that. I checked my line. That is ridiculous, man. I just tie that sucker on. He just snapped 17 pounds just like that. I watched him eat it. That was amazing right there. I cannot believe that. Why? Why? Well, I got a chatterbait. This is all out, everything else I brought down to this place. I might have to go get some more stuff if that's how they're gonna eat. That was literally first cast. He was right under that grass. He just came out and just sucked it down, man. That was a big one. I mean, a big one. God, dog, man, that was a big one. Oh, but we can't get mad about it. We just gotta keep on fishing. If we get mad about it, we won't catch any more. So let's get to work. But now I'm gonna be throwing this chatterbait right here. Got this little trailer. Golly. Oh man, I cannot believe that right there. That that was not good at all. I was getting excited. I saw him swallow that sucker, and I was like, it's done. And he just broke me off. I felt him, man. He's a heavy fish, man. God. I just hope the GoPro saw that big guy. He was every bit of five pounds right there. 
Let's see if we can duplicate this with the chatterbait. The way he ate that, they should eat this. Gosh dang it, man. That was a big one. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yep. He's a big one. We got us a big one. Stay down, stay down. Gosh, he's strong. He's living in. Oh, he came off right at the bank. Look at that football. Holy smokes, look at that football. He slid up. Oh, thank the Lord. Look at that football. That's solid. Around three, three, three to four. He's not four, but he's definitely three something. And you guys don't like when I assume, so we're just gonna say he's around three. But that is a beautiful pass. Gosh, that's a big one right there, boys. Look at that. It's just a football. He's a stocky guy. So what I ended up doing we just pumping that water out. I threw it up on the edge of it, let it sink, and I felt him hit it while the bait was dropping. He tanked that sucker, and that is a big, beautiful fish. Oh, that's a good bass. It's just a football. No, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Let me help you out here. Oh, let me help you out. I should have thrown him outside of the slop. That's probably what I'm gonna do if he don't take off. Whew. See him swimming? He's getting through the, yep, there he goes, right out there. That's what we were looking for, those good bass like that. That was a straight football. And I, I can tell you, I missed two other fish before that. That first one was twice that size. Now one I missed felt like a dang good one. Heck yeah, boys, that, that feels good right there. He was fighting so hard. He was living right next to that pumping water and man, he was fighting. We just need to fish around this thing for, for a quick second. He got me. Yep. Same way as the other one. Let's go. He ain't as big as he felt. They felt heavy in that current. Still a solid two. God, that's a fatty right there. Look at that thing. These fish are healthy in here. I've never fished out here. That's a beautiful bass. Same way, threw up on the edge of that where that current's coming in, where all that water's pushing in there. He hit it the same way, except it's on the other side than the other one was. But look how fat and healthy all these fish are. Gosh, they're just beautiful. Look at them. That's awesome. Always catch and release, guys. What a, you know, I mean, if some people eat them, you know, that's that's fine. But I just believe in catch and release for for what I do. But that's a beautiful, beautiful fish. So blessed to catch these things. Oh yeah, that was awesome. actually where that's flowing down into is down here I'm sure there's some fish that ended up getting pushed off in here um, but that's actually where all that water is coming through and flowing through and that's why those fish are just stacked on that really well up at the top but it drains right down into here back down into this creek so just thought I would show you guys that to get an idea on what was going on up there and you know why those fish were sitting all around that current but this is where it's all pumping back through all right boys so we are walking down to a new location right now i don't know what to expect out of here have never been here but that's the point of this little you know two-part series guys is you know we're hunting or we're searching for these giant bass at new ponds that's the whole point of this whole series and what i'm doing if you guys like this stuff you know let me know in the comment section below i feel like this is more relatable to you guys because i know people are trying a lot of new spots you know you kind of got to weave through some of the small fish to find the big ones this this and that let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this but got the old chatter donk on we're gonna go down here take a peep at this pond and give it a try so this is what we're working with right now pretty small pond nothing much it looks good. It looks like it's been here for a while. There's probably some big bass. We're gonna give it a shot. Put the chatterbait to work. Cover some water. I don't know what just moved off that tree. It's probably a turtle, but we're just gonna go around and cover some water. All right, boys, it's time. Got this chatterbait. Little sexy trailer on there. Let's give it a freaking shot here. 
Whoa, that ain't good. Okay. Yo, there's something moving out there. Is that a turtle? I really don't know. Oh my gosh, what the heck? The heck's going on here now? I can tell you one thing. When I come to New Ponds, my first question I ask myself is, is there fish in here? There's some beds right there. So there is definitely some fish in here and I see some bluegills swimming around. So little brim baits. There's brim are all over these little beds. Well, we got a spawn right here that's gonna mess with me this whole time. I already could see that coming when I came out here. I got one. Oh! It looks like he's about two pounds. I saw the side of him. What? There's no way. Holy crap. Oh, did you guys hear that? That was insane bro that was freaking insane holy cow he hit my chatterbait like a top water i was reeling it in and he hit it the cast before i dropped it back down there and he just creamed it that wind picking up i like that i like it i like it a lot yep got him baby just a baby. Just a baby. We just want to skirt you right up in here, hey, Bobby. God, he looks... It's an anorexic bass right there. Actually, he ain't too bad for his size. He's a skinny dude, though. For you to eat a chatterbait... For you to eat a chatter donk. That's supposed to be for the donkeys, buddy. I'm sorry. You gotta wait till you're at least 18 years or older to eat this chatter donk. Got a huge one, Jake. Yep, it's a big one. Like seven or eight, probably. I don't know. No, it is, it's huge, dude. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Going straight in the middle and he's big. Oh God, dude, look at him tugging. Keep him down, oh, holy crap. What's your PB, dude? That might be your PB. God, dude. Oh my God. Oh, baby. <laughs> Dude, that might. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread. Got me messed up in the head.